Welcome everybody to Developing a CV, Creating Interest and a Sense of Audience. This resource is designed for those younger learners who are either developing their first CV or continuing to refine a CV that they already have. Now developing a CV for many learners is a difficult prospect, so this resource is designed on the idea of providing learners with lots of examples of CVs and allowing them to review and evaluate them and make their decision about what they think is effective. And we're going to do this in three ways. First of all, we're going to support the learners to identify the important and effective aspects of a CV. The second is to take the perspective of the employer rather than just seeing it as their own creation but thinking about how somebody else will see it. Number three, sharing and evaluating ideas. Activity part one. Now the idea is, is to break learners into small groups and those groups are going to be the learner's company. So you let them come up with a company name and this of course will be contextualized to your specific vocation. But for example, if you're running a hairdressing course, then each of those companies might be in charge of their own franchise of salons or so on. And so they can come up with a really neat name that reflects their company. Number two, each of the companies are then given a task of employing a person to meet specific needs. So you would provide them with some specific needs that that company needs. Uh, for example, it might be a receptionist or it might be a hair designer. And you might even discuss with the learners a broad set of tasks that you'd want them to be able to do. Number three, you hand out at least five to six CVs to the groups. And then the company's task is to select two or three applicants for an interview. Now you might ask, where are we going to get the CVs? Well, the CVs are something you're going to have to develop in-house. But let me tell you, it's easier than you think. On the internet, there are ready-made templates. And all you'd need to do is populate the fields for your given sector. And it would be well worth your time to do these and just keep them on file. So here's an example of the different types of templates you might use. Now you'll find that the learners will have great discussions with this. Some of them will like some applicants and some of them won't like other applicants. And it will really help them to decide what's important in a CV and the kind of skills and backgrounds that they think are important and that they think are valuable. Activity part two. In a whole class discussion, you then have each company give the names of the people they selected and have them explain why they selected them. And just work around the class like that. And then you want to engineer a whole class discussion in which the features that influence the company's choices are discussed. So you might simply ask, why did you choose this person? And why didn't you choose this other person? And then create a bit of a debate within the class about why they liked that person or why they didn't. You will find that all the groups will probably select slightly different people. Now as the learners are discussing these, and they're discussing the skills and the things that help them to select people, write these up on the board and try to categorize them. And you might, for example, get things like this. Plenty of work experience with that person. I liked the personal profile. I liked the qualifications that they had. Uh, generally likable. I just liked the general idea of the CV. And often this turns into tone and professionalism. And you might draw these out more and more. Some people will like the style and design of particular CVs. And other people might like the idea that there are pictures or not pictures, colors or not colors, and so on. And finally, you'd ask the class, what can we learn about the features of a successful CV from this? And just generally open up that conversation. Activity part three. Once all of those conversations are finished and learners have talked about what they like about some CVs and don't like about others and so on, is to give each company a list of questions to work through. So we really want to take advantage of the fact that they're engaged and they have these CVs in front of them. So some sample questions that you might use. Number one, what impact did the style or design have on you? They'll all have different ideas, but generally we want to know, we want them to discuss. Does the style of the CV make a difference to the way that you think about the person who wrote it? Number two, did the hobbies or interests sections make a difference to your decision? Was this positive or negative? And of course, in discussing this, the learners are beginning to realize that sometimes hobbies isn't a particularly useful contribution to a CV. What type of work experience did you like? And did the CV link the work experience to skills? You know, oftentimes people will just list their work experience, but they won't really explain how that work experience contributed to skills or learning and that sort of thing. And they don't reflect that. And number four, describe the best features of each CV. So often there's some duds in the list of CVs, but even so you want the learners to begin to think about 
What are the best features of this CV? You know, what do I like about it? And in the end, they'll have a list of features that are really good. And the secret idea is we want them to take all of those features and apply these to their own CV. You know, in summary, the idea is that we let them preview other people's CVs and begin to think about the things they like and the things they don't like and the things that are effective and ineffective. Thank you.